Hi, I'm Captain John Kaiser. In today's video, we're going to talk about doing herring in a helmet. Crippled anchovy head. It's a real quick, easy way method to run a whole herring. We'll go ahead and insert the herring in a helmet, put it in the water, show you how to rig it up. I'm ready to go, man. Let's head out in the water and get it done. Okay, one of the other methods that works real well for pulling a whole herring is the anchovy head holder. It's just a small helmet that fits on there. Everybody refers to them as, as uh, helmets. They're actually called a crippled anchovy head holder, but they're small and work great for the winter baits, particularly, and a lot of times, even in the summertime, you can get the nose of the big ones in there. It's just rigged down here. We can't use treble hooks, so we run two single uh, salmon hooks here. And just what we want to do is leave one a little longer than the other one. So if you look at it when it's lined up on hanging, the back hook's going to hang back a little bit. They're real easy to rig, and you can tow them for a long time. They're fished behind a flasher normally. So the way you do it is just take your herring, go ahead and insert it into the helmet, and put it all the way up in there as far as you can. Then you take this red pin that's attached to the line here, and that inserts through the helmet itself, makes it real easy, and it just comes out the other side, usually. Yeah. So now I've pinned the herring in there so it can't come back out. So it's, it's locked in with that little pin that comes with it. And then all I'm going to do here, this is the whole trick to making it work with single hooks, is take that first hook, come back here and just figure out where it's going to lay. And what I'm trying to do is leave a little gap between here and the hook. I don't want the hook exactly up tight against the helmet. So having it up here like this where it's sitting against it tight would not work you need to have a little bit of a gap in it. So you want about that much of a gap. So kind of anticipate where that's going to be. Reverse your hook the opposite direction. Come in around the lateral line. Grab a, a hook of meat there. Pull it up. Now as you see what happens as I tighten that against there and it's resting on the side of the helmet it forms a little kink in the herring. That's the important part to get it to fish right. So without that if I was to fish it straight it's not going to have near the action in it that I'm looking for. By just putting that little kink in there it's going to give it a good little spin in the water. Now the back hook, very simple, just come back about halfway back where the tail is on the same side, insert it through, bring it all the way through, bring it out the other side so it hangs back here like this, so it's trailing back there. That hook will actually sit here and flail around back here like this. As the fish comes in to strike it, this whole setup will be turning, that hook will be flailing around. Normally a salmon will come in to grab it and turn here, and when he does, He'll come back across here and I usually end up getting this back hook in the corner of the mouth and then as he swims away they'll get the other one right in the side of the cheek so that hooks up pretty well. And this can be towed for a long time without tearing up the herring so you can fish it for quite a while and it creates a nice tight spin. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in the water and see what it's supposed to look like. 